back to our channel. It has been a long time since we have done a video. Things have been so incredibly hectic, very, very busy, which is good, but also far too busy to actually think about anything other than just making soap. We are filming upstairs today because downstairs is completely overtaken with soap. Um, and we are bringing you Christmas soaps and I know it's not even Halloween and we don't have Halloween soaps this year because that is just too much to think about um, but we have eight different designs of Christmas soaps and we're going to be bringing you one a week over the next eight weeks so that will give you guys a chance to copy them and recreate them if you want to and still have them cured in time for Christmas. All of the soaps we are making over the next week, the next eight weeks are going to be available to purchase in our shop from nine o'clock this morning. So about nine hours after this video is going live, our shop will be updated and we will have lots of lovely Christmas soaps. And to just show you what is coming up, these are the Christmas soaps that we're going to be creating over the next eight weeks. We are going to begin by creating our little snowman soap today. Um, it was a very fun design to create. It's a little tricky in places, but it's a lot of fun. So jump in with us now and watch us creating some snowman soap. So today we're going to begin by making the tree in bed for our little Christmas snowman scene soap. And for that we are using some brown soap dough and the large extruder from I Dream in Soap along with the tree extruder disc also from I Dream in Soap. This is already dirty because I have just extruded two other lengths of trees. We're making three loaves of snowman soap today and I'm just going to show you me making the third and final tree in bed. So I'm going to begin by placing the soap dough into the extruder. Just placing it into the end really nice and easy. And then I'm just going to screw on the end with the extruder disc already in place. And then I'm just going to start gently squeezing the handle until I feel the tree starting to come out, which it is now. And then I'm going to place the extruder down and I'm just keeping gently squeezing the end of the extruder. And you can see the tree is now kind of extruding from the end quite nicely. And it does take a little bit of pressure on the actual handle to get the soap dough to extrude out nicely like this, but it's not too taxing when you're doing one extrusion anyway. When you are doing lots of extrusions, it does kind of get a little bit monotonous towards the end, but today we are only making three, so it is no real problem. I have measured on my table where I need the tree to come up to, so now that I've extruded it, I'm just going to chop off the excess at the end and get rid of that. And then we've got our, our tree extrusion all done and ready to be popped to one side for use in our soap shortly. Now along with the trees we are also using some little snowmen embeds that I have already created. Um, I'm not actually showing you in this video how we create them, we do have a video on our Patreon showing how we created these. But we also used the snowman mould again from I Dream in Soap and Lisa I Dream in Soap does have a YouTube channel and she has actually got a video up showing her creating these snowmen. So if you do want to have a look at that then uh, hunt out Lisa I Dream in Soap and her snowman design and you'll be able to see exactly how these were created and she will obviously be using a lot more finesse than me. Um, the only issue we had with the snowmen embeds is that it's about a 12-13 inch mould in length and we actually use moulds that are 17 inches in length so one snowman is not quite long enough which is why we kind of chop the second one down to size and then when we put it in the mould we kind of place them as nicely together as possible just to give us the extra length that we need. So trees and snowmen is pretty much all we're going to need for the embeds for today's soap. So let's get on and make the actual soap batter. 
So I'm not actually going to show you the entire soap making today because as I've said in some of our other Christmas videos this is more about kind of putting the soap together and creating the design rather than the actual making of the soap which you can see in many of our other videos. What I am going to show you is us adding in the mica and this is Hollywood Gaze from Resonate and we are using eight grams of this. Remember this is for three loaves worth. This is not just for the one loaf that I'm going to be showing you us making. This is for three loaves. So obviously if you're just making one you will need to divide that amount by three. And I'm adding it into the oil now just so I can get it nicely incorporated before we add in our lye water and bring the actual soap to a trace. And that is going to be what I am doing next. I will be doing the next bit off camera. I will add in our cold lye water. I will bring it to a kind of light to medium trace and then I will actually add the fragrance in. I'm going to tell you now what fragrance we are using. We are using... what are we using? What are we using? Winter berries! We are using winter berries from Candle Shack and I've got 40 grams of winter berries here and again that is for all three loaves. So after I have brought the soap to a light trace I will add in all of that fragrance and then I'm going to split the soap down into three equal portions and that will be the base layer for each of our three loaves of soap. So that's quite nicely worked in now. So I will see you back here in a moment when it should all be nicely mixed together. So the batter has now been split down into equal portions and it has thickened a fair bit. The fragrance oil that we use does thicken a little which is fine for this design because we need it to be fairly firm to actually support the embeds. Just giving it a shake and a tap to level it a little. And then first off we are bringing in the snowman embed which I'm placing down to one side of the mould and I'm pressing it down fairly deeply. And again with the second part of the snowman pressing it down as I say fairly deeply into the batter and then we need to bring in the trees. And with our trees I'm going to place them next to the snowmen but I'm not pressing these ones down as deeply. I'm just letting it kind of sit where it falls because I kind of want the snowman and the tree to be at slightly different heights. So that is our snowman and tree embeds in place and now we just need to make the batter for the top. So we're going to colour our top layer of soap in exactly the same way that we coloured the lower layer and that is by adding the mica into the liquid oils. We are using 6 grams of almost ice mica again from Resonate and just tipping it into the oil and using the spatula to work it in. There is a slight difference with how I'm going to work um, afterwards in regards to scenting the soap. Because that winter berries does thicken a little, which is absolutely fine for the base because we want the base to be quite thick, um, we do not want the top to be thick. The top needs to remain fairly thin so that we can actually make sure that the soap does get into all the kind of little nooks and crannies in the tree and in the snowman. So I'm going to colour, no I'm not, I'm going to scent the soap individually. So I'm going to get this to a trace with the lye, then I'm going to split it down into three equal portions and then I'm going to add the fragrance individually into each portion so that the batter hopefully remains thin enough to fill the mould without creating any air bubbles. So that is going to be the next step after we have brought the soap to a light trace. So now we've got the batter to a kind of medium trace and I have split it down into those three equal portions and I'm adding the winter berries fragrance oil into this, into this portion, 26.6 grams because it is only a third of the total weight now because we have already split down. And I'm going to use the spatula to work that fragrance in really well. Then I'm going to pull back in the mould and we're going to fill the mould up. So here is the mould and those embeds are really nicely held in place now because the lower layer has set up and all I'm going to do is pour the top layer 
over the lower layer and this is why I wanted to keep it thin because we want to make sure that the batter does flow into all those kind of um, different branches of the tree and that we don't end up with any pesky air bubbles or holes in the finished soap. So you can see if the batter was thick it would be a lot harder to make sure that all of those little tiny holes are being properly filled. And that looks okay to me. I'm going to give it a shake and a tap to level it. And then purely for aesthetics I'm just going to use a chopstick to just kind of draw a very light figure of eight sort of swirl design along the top of the soap. I don't have to do this and I don't imagine it makes a huge actual difference to the final soap but it looks pretty and I like the swirling. So there is our snowman Christmas soap which we're going to leave for 24 hours then we're going to come back tomorrow, chop it up, see how it looks. So after 24 hours, the moment we have all been waiting for, time to chop up the snowman soap. So I'm just going to pull down our soap cutter and pull out a bar from the middle. Excuse my slightly pink hands, I dyed my hair last night, they are clean, just dyed. And there is the finished snowman and tree soap. And I'm really happy with how this one has turned out. The tree is where we want it, slightly higher than the snowman. The snowman looks pretty happy and all his eyes and buttons are pretty much where they're meant to be. So one snowman soap. So here are the little finished snowmen at soap. I'm so happy with how they have turned out. The snowmen do seem to have their own little expressions. If I turn this one round, the snowman becomes kind of quizzical, like he's looking for something. Um, but that's just what happens with handmade, isn't it? Everything is a little bit different. Um, so these are available along with the other seven designs of Christmas soap in our shop just here from nine o'clock this morning. So in another few hours, the shop update will be going live and our Christmas 2021 range will be here, even though it's still October, but it just gives you time to get ahead with that Christmas shopping. I really hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you do, please give us a like, give us a subscribe, and we will see you next week for more Christmas soap. Bye for now.